lock journey thing is really going to pay you. Serenia's love journey if you're a returning subscriber and if you're a new subscriber hmm, I am happy to have you here on this channel you're welcome to Serenia's love journey so guys in today's video I'm coming with a hundred percent real facts emphasis on real and emphasis on facts what I'm about to share with you here your love tician your stylist and even people that have been on this love journey for a long time will not share this with you but I'm going to tell you the truth. Nobody actually told me this when I was starting my looks. But I'm here for you and I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, I'm not trying to make you scared or anything. But, you know, I just want to tell you the truth and also give you tips on how to overcome this phase. Because it's just a phase. So guys, this luck journey thing is really going to pay you. <laughs> You're going to experience a lot of pain and here are the reasons why so the first reason is having a sensitive scalp i don't know how else to explain this but it is very simple if you naturally have a sensitive scalp then get ready to feel a lot of pain because love involves causing pressure and tension to your hair so you can imagine the level of pain you're going to feel that if you have a sensitive scalp so now the second reason is if you decide to use the interlocking method there are different ways to get your hair locked i'm not going to go into full details but if you choose to go through the interlocking method then it's going to involve more tugging of your hair and it's going to cause you more pain so if you are choosing for example you are starting out your locks for the first time i think you should ask your stylist or your loctician and let them explain to you the methods available for you and you can choose and you know pick the one that suits your hair texture and your pain level that's it the third reason is soreness of the scalp so basically if you have wound on your hair like wound on your scalp due to itching or scratching of your head then you should avoid locks for that particular time allow your hair to heal Sis, guys, allow your head to heal before you go through this process. <laughs> it is not an easy process for you. So just let your hair breathe and heal. So the fourth and the last reason is neck pain that are associated with locks or dreads. And this point or this reason is actually not just for tighter locks. Maybe if you're having tighter locks and you decide to add extensions to your locks, then you, there's possibility of you having a lot of neck pain on your neck area because your neck might not be able to carry that amount of heaviness on your head. So it might cause your neck or even down to your shoulders a lot of pain. So that is also one reason why people experience so much pain when getting locked. I almost forgot this reason. So the fifth and the last reason why your locks is going to hurt you is when you decide to get your locks styled. Hmm. I had a personal experience and trust me, it was not funny. So I went to style my hair, like I went to relock my hair and to get my hair styled. After I got my hair locked and you know, I had this fine style i came home hmm. the pain i felt eh i almost wanted to cut off my locks that day this was like last year i almost wanted to cut off my locks because of the excessive pain i was feeling the headache i couldn't sleep it was terrible so if you're getting your hair locked or getting your hair styled please make sure you tell your optician and your stylist to be careful with this kind of style they put put on for you it can be very very painful okay guys so have not stated the reasons i'm going to give you a few tips on how to reduce the intensity of this pain so the first thing is to make sure that your scalp is very very oiled and moisturized and this is because when you apply oil to your scalp it helps loosen the tension on the scalp like on the root of your hair it loses the tension from the root so it helps you like it frees the hair 
to make sure to put oil apply oil on your hair so the second thing to do is to make sure you massage your scalp after getting worked when you want to massage your scalp of course you must have applied oil to your scalp make sure you use the tip of your fingers like here use the tip of your fingers and just run your fingers through your hair it's a very sweet feeling like especially when you just get your hair locked like it is very you can't just even sleep off ask someone to help you do it and you might just sleep off so just try to do that it just helps to reduce the tension and the pressure your hair is feeling and also reduces a lot of pain so you should try this so then the third thing to do is to make some sleeping adjustments honestly you don't want to be lying down on your hair like the part that hurts you the most when you just go locked because you're causing a lot of tension on that part so i'll advise if you just got your hair locked try to maybe sleep by the side pull your hair up a little bit so that you don't cause pressure to your scalp and it, you know it's a cost you a lot of pain so just try to make those adjustments just for the few days that it's really hurting you that will really help you a lot so the fourth point guys is to avoid frequent maintenance for a while if you just got your hair locked for the first time i will not really advise you to always go to a loctician or a stylist to always get your hair relocked this is going to cause a lot of tugging and tension and pressure to your scalp so try to let your hair breathe like give your hair a bit of maybe two weeks three weeks four weeks two months it doesn't matter if i know people care more about the neatness of your hair but trust me the more you allow your hair to breathe the less pain you would feel so place your relock sessions try to do that it's going to owe you a lot so the fifth and the last thing to do is to take your painkillers make sure you take your painkillers i'm not a doctor so i cannot prescribe what to use for you but i use painkillers that you know works for me so try to see a physician or you know get your painkillers that can work for you and make sure you take maybe one or two before you get locked and then also after you get locked so that's going to really help you a lot so guys we're talking about the reasons why your looks might actually pain you and i've also given you tips on how to reduce the intensity of this pain uh -huh. so if, i'm not trying to make you scared i'm not trying to get you so scared about this whole thing but if you really want to go into this love journey then have it at the back of your mind try to do these things i've said and you'll be fine yeah you will be fine so guys if you're already on your love journey and you've experienced this amount of pain or even more i like to share your experience i like you to share your experience with us drop a comment down below and also if you have tips that you can share to help us don't forget to drop those tips down below do not forget to share this video like and also subscribe to this channel i am your special girl Sarah. see you next week bye